Broadway is more beautiful than ever now that a new musical about Carole King has officially landed on the Great White Way. We're here on opening night to talk to the stars about the music that made the earth move under their feet. Why did you want to be here tonight? Carole King is one of those, you know, every, every now and then there's like a soundtrack of your life and she's one of those people. I can't imagine the world without her music. She's, you know, a legacy artist and she's, you know, makes such a big difference and has, has paved the way for songwriters and female songwriters especially. I'm blown away. I mean, I'm just absolutely blown away. I miss these songs that we wrote 50 years ago. Not all of them. We wrote, we wrote a lot more afterwards too. But that, you I, I, I never thought that this would happen. What is your go-to Sing in the Shower Carol King song? Oh, going back, I think. There's a song called I'd Like to Know You Better. Know you better, being with you feels so good to me. But will you still love me tomorrow? Somebody's doing a brand new dance now. Do the locomotion with me. It's got to be Natural Woman. You make me feel. You make me feel, you make me feel, like a natural woman. How does it feel to bring this story to Broadway? You know, I'm so excited to help bring the story to Broadway because I, I actually think, I know everybody thinks, oh, Carol King, it's a nostalgic show you know, for baby boomers. Yes, that's true, but it's also something that I was very passionate about telling. It's a girl empowerment story. She lived struggles and found her way to a, a solo career, but she began as a 16-year-old girl in Brooklyn, uh, a gifted musician who was a tunesmith sort of from the get-go. You know, it's power to the women. It's do it alone, believe in yourself, and Makes, makes steps forward. She was the first woman, one of the first, and all due respect to everyone of that generation, the very best, to sit down at a piano with no bells and whistles and just play music and sing about the real things. You know, a lot of people think they're coming to see the Carol King story, but they're really coming to see a story of four friends. Yeah, no, it really is true. I mean, Carol is absolutely, the, she's the protagonist and that's clear, but it really is about these four people. And, and, and the craziest part is it's all true. Tell me a little bit about finding your voice as Carol King. I, I always felt like there needed to be enough of her and enough of me so that what came through was an authenticity because I, that's what I feel I get when I watch her and listen to her. So um, I don't know. I'm still figuring it out. I'm learning every day. Tell me about Jesse Mueller playing this role. Oh, my God. Well, Jesse is... Jessie is the Meryl Streep of Broadway. I mean, she can do anything. She has a, a truthfulness about what she does and that, that is so um, moving and touching to everyone in the audience. What is it like for you to transform physically into Carol King? Oh, I love it. I can't, I, I hate taking the wig off at the end of the night. I get like the curly Carol hair and it's always hard to take it off because I always wanted that hair. So I love it. I love it. And, and she's no must, no fuss. I mean, I get really comfortable costumes. I love it. It's really like hopeful music that people really, uh, uh, it makes them feel good. So I think that's sort of what this show is kind of about, is it's, it's a bit of like a hopeful, you know, gift that makes people feel good. Now to the other moon, under the moon. 